you know, the demons are usually a little prettier than this, but I, I, I'm kind of feeling the cleft chin today, if I'm honest. I, I do like the, uh, the square jaw as well. And for any of you guys that are wondering why I actually critique these videos is because, you know, these young, somewhat attractive influencers are getting our younger generation to follow these diets that are damaging their health. You know, are these people actually following these diets in their lives? I doubt it. And if they are, the only reason they still look like they're not completely falling apart is a genetic godsend. So let's see how I eat a high protein and plant based. Did you forget the word diet? <laughs> Wait, hold on. How I eat a high pro. All right, she, she put the letter A in there where she, all right, she needed to either put diet or remove the letter A. Full day of eating plus why I track. All right, well, apparently it's not helping you spell, but let's see. Good morning, friends. It is currently 8 a.m. and I'm gonna take you through a what I eat in a day today. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. I'm 20 years old and I make health and fitness content on just about every platform there is. So today I'm gonna bring you through. What kind, of, what kind of health and fitness content are you making on Snapchat? I have a feeling that's the kind of content I would be glad to pay for, young lady. What I eat in a day, show you how I make all my meals. I am pretty much 99.999% plant-based if you guys didn't know and I eat pretty high protein and I'm really like to stay in shape so we'll get going. First things first, I'm going to make oatmeal right now. I'm not going to show the process because I've made it on this channel and my Instagram and my TikTok just about a million times. Hi everybody. Yeah. Stop it. This thing is crooked but it's okay. Here's show your oatmeal. The recipe for this is on my Instagram highlights and same, but this is breakfast. So she just shows a bowl of oatmeal. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, we can assume it's just carbohydrates that are laden with like glyphosate and agrochemicals and no actual good sources of fat or protein. So it's mostly just going to kind of go through your digestive system. Maybe your gut bacteria will eat up some of it. Maybe you'll have some enzymes to actually absorb some of the macronutrient energy. But overall... You know, we can just assume that the majority of the things being digested are the toxins, are the halogens, uh, the negatives in the food supply. I'm not sure what I want. So we're going with two apple cinnamon rice cakes with this protein cookie butter on top. So first things first, I'm going to put this in a little container and measure out a serving. This is like screaming bro science, like bro science bodybuilders. Eating rice cakes and measuring peanut butter by the gram, it's absolutely ridiculous. Then you add a little bit of water and just mix it until it's like spreadable. Then you just spread it on the rice cakes. Oh, I'm using the Quaker apple cinnamon ones. Oh my These God. are really good. Let me tell you something. Whoever invented rice cakes, I can't even say what I would do to them. It's like the worst tasting food that's not actually good for you. At least eat like tablespoons of ice cream or honey or something you're actually going to enjoy if you want to destroy your liver. Don't eat some rice cakes. Either way, you're getting a pure carbohydrate bomb. At least make it taste good. Very fall tasting, especially with this because it's maple. What's with the vegans and the golden spoons? This is like every single vegan video, like the past five ones, they eat with gold and silverware. The irony of eating slave food with expensive cookie butter utensils. and then I'm going to cut up a peach on the side too. And that is the final post-workout snack. So oh mine. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Same thing, but bananas. Mm -hmm. If you're not on peaches, guys, we'll, we'll recommend. Surprise, surprise. So for lunch, I'm making two brie. Morning Star Farms. Oh no. We did a video on the incognito stuff and them and, and morning star is actually like code word for Lucifer, AKA Satan. Oh my God. It's kind of funny. They must be wearing devil outfits when they make that plant-based meat slop. Burritos, just cause I only have the little kinds of these flatbreads. Joseph's lavish bread, you can get it at Walmart. Um, it's actually really oh, low carb Jewish. and that low calorie, everything. which is actually kind of annoying cause it kind of makes it hard to hit your carbs when you eat these, but they taste really good. And yeah, we just like them. So I have two set out here with like just some greens in it. I have a little bit more than a serving of this as my protein. I already microwaved some cilantro lime rice, 
gonna put some like veggies with it throw it all together like i said these are kind of low carb so i throw some rice in there sam made tacos mm -hmm. we are carb. always making burritos and tacos for lunch they're just so good and so it's easy so this is gonna be delicious <laughs> oh god help me you're talking low carb you had oatmeal for breakfast with a bunch of peaches and you had oatmeal <laughs> rice cakes and peaches and you're telling me your burrito is low carb this is hilarious i mean he just doesn't post give me a break mm -hmm. This is how they look. Uh, they're not really wrapping too well, so I'm going to eat them probably semi falling apart, but it doesn't matter. They still taste good, so I'm going to eat these for lunch. We are back, so it is now 3.30 p.m. We just hit a podcast episode that will be up when you're watching this, both up. Ladies, take notes. If you want your chin and forehead to grow, follow this diet. Up Friday, go listen. We're both making snacks. She got some... Raspberries, bees. Yes, some like super coffee cereal. I'm going to make pan. This girl keeps uh, making a southern voice. Is she a carnivore? Ooh, -wee. she can join the club, definitely. Cakes, which should be fun. And guys, I have no idea what I'm gonna make for dinner, so this might get kind of random dinner after this one snack. Yeah, I just don't have really another carb source for dinner. Like, I have no idea what my carb for dinner is gonna be. Yeah, you've eaten every carb there that exists already. <laughs> Three little pancakes um, with some sugar-free syrup, and this is going to be my afternoon snack for the. The irony of these people eating—I mean, I mean, I don't understand this. We're only a third of the way into this video, and she's already had like four meals. But if you just have like high-quality organic pancakes made with good ingredients and real maple syrup, yeah, the, the amount of toxins in this type of meal offsets the natural foods that you could be eating. Yeah, you, it might be higher carb, higher fat, higher sugar, but it tastes better and it's much better for you. The day. Also, while we were podcasting, I had this, just a poppy in the raspberry rose flavor. These are my jam. I mean, I have no idea what that is, but almost all of these drinks now, they're in aluminum cans, which is, of course, a pollution concern. I mean, aluminum is one of the main soft metals that are neurotoxic that we consume and and plus all of the natural flavors chemical additives to actually make it taste okay you know who knows if they'll ever actually come out with studies on this stuff showing us how bad it is for us yeah back in the kitchen it is 6 40 which is actually a late dinner for me i feel like normally i'm eating dinner at like five but i don't know weird afternoon i'm not hungry till now so let's go with it so we're gonna bigger. throw together something random so you're gonna come on this little journey with oh, me boy. i do know though oh these got crispy crispy i air fried some tofu so this is gonna be our protein and then i normally don't let me tell you something you feed this shit to prisoners they'll have <laughs> they'll be breaking out within two days <laughs> i don't like having rice two times in a day normally i like to have just like different carb sources but i kind of don't really have have much else right now like i don't really have another option i don't have like pasta or anything which maybe i'd make instead but i don't have for some extra carbs, I'm gonna use these Siete grain free tortilla chips. Just gonna do a serve. I mean, does this make sense to anyone? She's eating tofu with white rice and grain free tortilla chips. Like, like in what dietary context would someone consider this healthy? Like, not the vegans, not the bodybuilders, not the standard American dieters. I am very confused myself. Serving of these for some crunch. These are so good. Oh my God. All right, that's how you know your diet's messed up. You're eating plain, <laughs> you're, you're eating plain tortilla chips and it tastes good. I think you need a steak, young lady. Of course, we gotta add greens to our bowl. So I have these Brussels sprouts I made yesterday. I'm gonna throw those on. Then I just- Honestly, these girls probably wouldn't fart so much if they just laid off the vegetables a little bit. Added mini cucumber and a bit of romaine lettuce, and I'm going to top it with this sauce. Green makes it healthy. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so amazing. No idea what to call this bowl. I just type a nourish bowl, if you will. I'm, can you tell I like this sauce? Nourish bowl. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I would love to have these people actually explain why this type of food is healthy I, I, instead of actually understanding what it is. You have oxidized omega-6, estrogenic soy in the tofu, one of the worst things you can consume. The white rice, hey, if it's not organic, you might be a little bit of pollutants, but it's not too inflammatory. Those grain feed tortilla chips, you know, I mean, how many ingredients are in them? One dozen, two dozen. They're probably fried in vegetable seed oils. And the vegetables themselves, if you have a small amount on their own, organic, high quality, not horrible, but that much, all you have is anti-nutrients and, and they're very high water. You know, fruits and vegetables in general are going to suck up whatever water they're grown in, which is typically very polluted, full of halogens, chlorine, fluoride, as well as all of the chemicals and, and waste in the water supply. Not good. We did quite a bit and this is going to be dinner for the night for the greatest time of the night I pretty much eat this right after dinner. It's 720 um, It's macro cap time. So basically I go into my fitness pal and We see what we have left for the day. So we have some fat. We got like 20 grams of how many times you guys think she called the plumber so far <laughs> What What are you tracking? The volume of food that is excreted into the toilet. Oh my God. Fat. That's a good time because I like me high fat foods. I pretty much hit my protein and we're barely short on carbs. So I think I know what Is tracking your macros so going to prevent your face I'm from going looking to like it's going to fall off? the rest of this and put some toppings on top. Even though it's low calorie, it's like a lot of volume. So I was eating it yesterday and I just was full. So I put it back. So this is what we're working with. The rest of the ice cream, these chocolate chips. I'm definitely eating a little bit more out of the bag. And a little drizzle of peanut butter. Chocolate, guys. Mmm. Chocolate is my weakness. I don't care. I mean, these macronutrient warriors are the worst thing to ever hit, like, the mainstream fitness industry. I think it was really just, like, a clever, um, uh, what's it called? Operation. I mean... And any sort of diet is an operation by the CIA, vegan, carnivore, if it fits your macros. The goal is to get people to consume regular crappy foods. It's why you won't be able to find one YouTube channel outside of my own that just recommends local, high quality, organic foods, mostly animal products, just to make sure you're getting in certain nutrients. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Good morning, guys. It is the next day now. I wanted to come on here and just chat after you guys just saw my full what I eat in a day. It's the morning. I got a bowl of oats here. Same thing I really have. All right, that's lovely. And although you're a very pretty young lady, I would prefer not to chat. You are a true inspiration for me. We're around the similar age, and watching you grind every day through Instagram and YouTube makes me want to work hard. Makes me feel. Look, these girls genuinely think. If they eat like her and follow these diets, they're going to look like her, be successful like her. It's so, so misleading. All right, here we go. Bill Tim, my man, boring. We need to invite this guy over uh, to New York. <laughs> I mean, I mean, oh, I should have checked this out before because in hindsight, this looks like a fake. I mean, only 18 comments and 12,000 views. I get about a third of that views but i get 10 times as many comments so i mean it's possible that i you'd have to check out her other social medias and see how many views she's actually getting but i don't know either way whether she's pumping herself full of fake views or, or whether this is the actual case uh, it's an example of the powers that be using these young women uh, to promote starvation diets that are basically grains and fruits and vegetables that have no semblance of animal protein, no B vitamins, none of the nutrition you need for fertility or, or health in general. And, uh, you know, I mean, this has been going on for years and years and years before I started YouTube. And I don't really know what to expect because uh, people are so brainwashed and ingrained in this conventional wisdom that it's kind of hard to dig them out of it. But thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you don't end up with a forehead, brow, and a... Uh, a brow ridge and a cleft chin like that uh, but you can drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos therefore you can go to frank com and support me through all of my businesses uh, so i can pay a girl prettier than that uh, to be my girlfriend mm -hmm.